we want to build the world's most advanced technology platform. But we also know that in the final analysis, it's about great games. It's about amazing games, beautiful imagery, amazing experience. That's not possible without just a lot of mathematics. One of the things that you'll see today is all of the things that we've enjoyed up to now. Recognizing that computer graphics is one of the most computationally intensive fields in computing, it's all about mathematics. And we're going to show you a lot more mathematics today. We want to make it so that you can play in more ways. It's not just about sitting in front of your PC. It's not just about that. It's absolutely about that, but it's not just about that. We want you to be able to enjoy in 3D. We want you to be enjoying surround. We invented game stream so that you can stream your PC game to TV if you want. Stream it to your mobile device if you want. If you had a shield, you'll be able to stream it all the way out of your house if you want. We have other ways we would like you to be able to enjoy your games. One of our newest ways is G-Sync. Really, really excited about the invention. Our innovation is now extending beyond the GPU, beyond system software, all the way out to the PC, into the monitor making it possible for you to enjoy just silky smooth graphics with a revolutionary technology called G-Sync. We have so much more that we want to share with you. And lastly, it's PC. It's open. It's for everybody. Everybody gets to play. We make our experience wonderful. Whether you have a basic PC with a GeForce inside, all the way up to a water-cooled quad SLI driving multiple 4K monitors, wow. a PC that costs more than most average cars. <laughs> it's like we want porn. you to be able to enjoy great games irrespective of the computer you have in front of you. To make it possible, hundreds of engineers at NVIDIA work around the clock to test every single permutation of your PC, every single game, and find what we call the optimal playable setting. And for you, all you have to do is make it one click, and bam, you're enjoying that game as good as it possibly can be enjoyed on your PC. Everybody gets to play. That is our promise to you. Today, today, we would like to continue, extend, raise the bar in that promise to you. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about Maxwell. Maxwell, Maxwell, to scientists, is one of the three most important scientists in the history of mankind. You know that Maxwell formulated Maxwell's equation. The laws that unify electricity, magnetism, and light. What is generally recognized as the second unifying law of physics. The first one going to Newton. Because of his work, because of his unifying work, groundbreaking work in the 19th century, it laid the foundation for quantum mechanics, for special relativity. I can hardly imagine a more worthy scientist to name our next generation GPU after. Him. Maxwell. There are four things I want to talk to you about. There are four things I want to show you. The first is the processor. What is called the Maxwell SM, the Maxwell Streaming Multiprocessor. You know that we invented the general purpose processor of modern computer graphics. It's possible to, of course, compute all kinds of wonderful pixel shaders, make every single pixel the scene incredibly beautiful. You know, we use it for physics. It's a general purpose, massively parallel processor. Thousands of processors are working in parallel, communicating over these fabrics and crossbars working together to generate a result as fast as possible. The Maxwell SM. Everything starts from that. Making it as computationally efficient, as architecturally efficient, is the work of hundreds of engineers. In the case of Maxwell, we combed it up and down. And the reason for that is this. We had to make this architecture perfectly compatible with mobile. We had to bring it to Tegra as well. And as a result, energy, efficient, energy efficiency was job number one. Well, it turns out today, in all of computing, we are power limited. So your 
architectural performance for energy efficiency is directly related to your performance. In the case of Maxwell, in the case of Maxwell, in just one generation relative to Kepler, we improve the architectural efficiency, the performance per watt, by a factor of two. By a factor of two. All of it because the engineers come through every single processor, every single pipeline, every single network in the, in, in the, uh, in the processor to wring out the last bit of architectural efficiency. Maxwell's architecture is two times per per watt of Kepler. Second thing of the architecture. Memory bandwidth is vital to us. Memory bandwidth is air. Memory bandwidth is air. In our frame buffer, we store textures, we store lighting information, we store bump information, we store all kinds of information, including the frame, the C buffer. How fast we're able to communicate with that frame buffer directly determines our performance. In the case of Maxwell, we've now implemented our third generation of delta compression. Basically what that means is this. Every single color, as we're writing it out to the frame buffer, every single, every single value as we're writing it out to the frame buffer, we compare it to the last value we're about to write. And we simply write out the delta. We simply send the, del the delta. Imagine if I were talking to you right now, instead of every single word, every single word after the first word was just the delta of the first word. First of all, it would be incomprehensible, but it would be highly compressed. It would be highly compressed. As a result of that, that last scene that you just saw, everything that's pink was compressed. We literally compressed away everything that is now pink. That last scene, that last image, has been compressed into a little tiny frame buffer. As a result of that, Maxwell's memory interface was able to reduce the traffic by 30%. Reduce traffic by 30%. That's another way of saying, in just one generation alone, everything else being equal, we improve the bandwidth of our memory interface by a factor of 30%. Really, really amazing. The comparing against Kepler across a large number of very challenging games, the performance, energy efficient, performance per watt of Maxwell versus Kepler is 2x. Unbelievable. Now when you boil that down, I know, it's, that, it's crazy funny. It's ridiculous. When you compare it like this, it's actually amazing. So let me just read that off to you. Kepler, average frame rate of those games at 25 by 16, 25 frames per second consuming 195 watts. In the case of Maxwell, 41 frames per second, but consuming only 165 watts. But you guys know what it means when you're energy efficient. You guys know exactly what it means when you're energy efficient. That's right, you invented it. It's a technology called overclocking. That's right, overclocking. This is going to be the mother of overclockers. <laughs> you said it, I did. <laughs> you know what? We are going to have crazy fans all over the world. In China, they call themselves N fans. Our fans here, we're awesome fans, are we? Yeah.